Today on our 2011 Ford E150 van, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Draw Tight Class 5 Ultra Frame Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 41945. This is what our hitch looks like when it's installed. As you can see, the cross tube is visible. However, this is a very heavy duty hitch. Even though this is a heavy duty hitch, it's still going to be nice and tucked in underneath your bumper. You're not going to worry about hitting your legs or shins on it when you're getting anything out of the vehicle. It's going to be a class five. It's going to be two inch by two inch. It's going to have a reinforced collar to give you a little extra stability on your receiver tube. This forward hole here, it's going to be your hitch pin hole. It's going to be five eighths inch in diameter. As you can see, it's also reinforced. This back hole here is going to be for a J-pin stabilization device only. What the J-pin stabilization device is used for is to take any shake and rattle out of any of your hitch mount accessories. It's going to have a plate style safety chain ring or safety chain hookup. As you can see, the holes are very large for large style uh, safety chain hooks. This plate here for your safety chain is also reinforced. It's also going to have a reinforced or a very thick weld on your receiver tube. I think the way this hitch is designed, it's going to give you peace of mind knowing that all of these points have been all reinforced when hauling heavy loads. This is going to have a maximum tongue weight of 1,500 pounds, which is a downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube. It's going to have a max trailer weight of 10,000 pounds, which is a trailer plus the load included. Now, I do recommend checking your owner's manual to make sure your vehicle can withstand that amount of weight. And you're going to want to pick the lowest number between the vehicle and the hitch. Now, you can use weight distribution with this hitch. Your tongue weight is going to go down to 1,200 pounds. However, your trailer weight is going to go up to 12,000 pounds. This is going to be a no-drill application. It's going to come with all the necessary hardware to get installed. And it's going to use factory holes in the frame. However, I do recommend making sure you have somebody to help you lift it because it is a heavy duty hitch. Now we will give you a couple measurements to help you in deciding on any hitch mount accessories you may need, such as a bike rack, ball mount, or cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost part of the bumper will be about four inches. From the ground to the top innermost part of the receiver tube will be about 14 and a half inches. Now let's show you how to get this installed. First thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to remove this plate right here that's connected to our frame. We'll use an 18 millimeter socket and a socket wrench. You want to make sure you don't you use a socket wrench first and not any power tools because you don't want to take a chance of breaking those off inside of the hole. So we'll get them loose first. You want to make sure once you get this plate off, inside your frame, you're going to have a plate with two weld nuts on it. You want to make sure you take that out. And then you're going to repeat that process on the other side. Next, we're going to have spacer blocks. We're going to have hex head bolts. Take our hex head bolt, put it through our spacer block. We're going to start this front hole here. Take our next one. Go into the second hole. And we'll take our third one. We're going to go to this second roll, round hole here, furthest one to the front of the vehicle. And we're going to do that same thing on the other side. Now before you put your hitch in place, I do suggest if you have factory tow wiring, you pull that out of the way first before putting your hitch up. Next thing we're going to do to make it easier on ourselves, we're going to take a spacer block and we're going to put it on the second hole. Now, the second hole on this big plate here, you want to do the one towards the center of the bracket. Just take some tape like that. Then we're going to take a washer, a flat washer, it's going to go on this front hole. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side of the hitch. Now, the reason we're putting these on is these are going to get sandwiched in between the hitch and the frame. Now our frame toward the back of our vehicle is a little bit off, so this is going to take that out so that this sits flat. The next thing we're going to do is you're going to flip your hitch over and you're going to take your remaining spacer blocks and they're going to go along the bottom. Again, we'll take them on. This is going to make it a little bit easier.
And with an extra set of hands, we'll get our hitch into place. We'll take our flange nut. We can put our remaining hardware on. And we're gonna do that same thing on the other side. Next, we'll take two 7 8 inch sockets and we'll tighten all of our hardware down. Next, we'll torque all of our hardware down, the specifications and the instructions. And we're gonna repeat that on the other side. Next, we'll put our wiring back into place. We're just gonna clip it right into the bottom of our bumper here. And that'll do it for the draw tight class five Ultra Frame Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 41945 on our 2011 Ford E150 van. Thanks for watching and click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.